back everyone now let's go and do a speed comparison between ios 15 and ios 14 on the iphone 8 now the ios 15 device is on the right the ios 14 device is on the left an easy way to tell which one is which is if you swipe up from the bottom you can see one has focus mode one doesn't for 15 does have focus mode so all the apps are clear on the background so phone calls three two one and 14 seems to be faster I, I will tell you i think 14 is going to be faster it's been like that on all my other devices music three two one Again, faster on iOS 14, App Stores 3, 2, 1. And again, much faster on iOS 15. That was actually a pretty big difference right there. Scrolling through, you can see, I think you're going to get around the same scrolling speed. Actually, it looked glitched up a little bit on iOS 15, or 14 for that matter. Clock, let's do that one. 3, 2, 1. And about the same there too, not a big difference. We can go and get into camera, three, two, one. And I'm just loading up these apps in the background when I do my management portion of the test. Let's get into news, three, two, one. And as you can see, I mean, it does look like this one loaded up faster, even though we got a little bit of a different pop-up on this device. Let's do books, three, two, one. And again, faster on iOS 14. And I would do want to go ahead and load up a website. I did notice that on iOS 14, it looked to be a little bit faster on every web page that I loaded. So if we go into Bing 321, I want to say 14 was faster, but maybe 15 was faster. That was a little bit of difference. You know, I will be honest. It's also the different one, Yahoo 321. So it does look I so so it does look like iOS 15 may be the faster one there. So good news there. I'm really happy about that. Let's get into I guess some of these third party apps. Let's do Bofa three two one. And I wish I could position these so they wouldn't keep sliding. I don't know how to fix that. And 14 looks to be faster. 15 a little bit slower. Hopping out of this one. Let's go and do Temple Run two three two one. And I guess we do have a pop-up here. I don't know why that happened. Okay, I don't know. That's very, very annoying. <laughs> Snake versus Blocks, three, two, one. I wonder if we're gonna get that same game center thing. That's actually a very annoying pop-up. And you can see faster on iOS 14, much faster on iOS 14. That was a pretty big difference right there. And we have an iCarly ad out of nowhere. That's very surprising. You can see, I mean, roughly around the same gameplay, but that was definitely faster on iOS 14 for sure. Out it. it just seems like I have to click the home button twice on iOS 15 for some reason. It's going to Quizlet 321. I think it was a slower app opening on the iOS 15 as well when I clicked on the app. Dropbox 321. Actually, it looks about the same. For that app, it looked a little bit different. I think 14 was faster there. Twitter 321. And I think iOS 14 is a faster one there. Facebook 321. And iOS 14 looks to be faster there. Hopping out of this one, let's do Netflix 321. And I don't really know which one was faster there. They both looked around the same. And let's go ahead and end it off with, I guess, like Real Racing 3, 3, 2, 1. But this, I don't think is going to work out that well, if I'm being honest. I just feel like there's going to be some download thing I have to do. And there we go. There is a download thing that we have to do. So let me go and hop out of this one. And let's just get into some RAM management tests. So let me go ahead and as you can see, I don't know if the home button is filling on this iPhone 8 or what. Let's go back in the beginning and let's just load up the first app. So let's do phone calls. And 14 actually restarted. So that was actually pretty surprising. I wasn't expecting that. Let's go back in the beginning and let's load up this one. 3, 2, 1. Okay, they both were able to keep that one up in the background. Let's go back in the beginning again. You can see this one. Okay, so I don't know what happened. There was another app. So the App Store, for some reason, I guess, exited out of this specific device. As you can see, I don't see it anymore. Or that could be because of that Real Racing 3 app, which made me go back into the App Store. So let's get into news. That seems to be a good one. 3, 2, 1. Again, 14 actually restarted. So even if iOS 14 was faster, it does seem like RAM management is better on the iPhone 8 specifically. And there's another one. So on iOS 15, it could potentially be the case that, you know, the RAM management is better on the iPhone 8, but I am getting some problems with the home button where some reason it doesn't register it sometimes, even though on iOS 14 it does. So ultimately, that's kind of how I would sum it up. Again, do not install this update. I would recommend staying on iOS 14 official right now. Even if iOS 15 looks a little bit better, stick with 14. You're really not missing out on too much. So that's essentially it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. More importantly, everything else, I love every single one of you guys. 
Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.